generalized statement that men are trash because then there's this whole culture of people or guys believing that oh yeah we're trash anyway so we're gonna treat you like trash and we're not gonna give you any respect we're not gonna give you any care and like the girls just accept it because guess what men are trash but no so I don't want to definitely say that out there but there definitely are guys out there that do not trash yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much they're out there and they're just doing all types of things because I don't know, like, I don't want to go in and saw like, any of their family members. But yeah, like, they definitely out here acting all types of way, treating women any types of way, forgetting that eventually karma is what, you know, bleep, we're not going to say the word. And eventually you're going to have a child, you're going to have a daughter, you have sisters, you have a mother. And I really don't get it, especially because, like, these are the guys that are raised by single parent households or whatnot. And they come out here and they treat women like they're nothing. Like, did you not come from a woman? Do you not have a woman as a sister? Like, you're going to have a daughter. Do you not think about that? Obviously, they don't. So, like, I mean, I, I want to say that Chaz because it's a generalized statement and it's like encompassing of a lot and it's creating that stigma that oh, I can do anything because overall you think I'm trash anyway but they're I just stupid to think that way I just think there definitely needs to be change in the mindsets of our young men because we have this culture out here that people don't respect each other or people just feel like they're just gonna settle for whatever because after all men are trash so the definitely definitely needs to be changed in that culture. Okay. okay. If you understand where I'm coming from. I guess in that term, then yeah, not all men are trash, but it's just like it's for me personally. It's so hard to sit here and be like and be like, oh, let me not generalize it, you know? Because I know not every man in this whole world is trash, but it's just so hard. And I know it sounds really bad because I know somebody's gonna come and be like, Wait. but it's like hard because like. From my from my experience, like many guys I've encountered, they are trash. Mm -hmm. I'm and I'm not and I'm not saying you're wrong at all. Yeah. Cause like I've definitely been in situations where I'm just like, wow, like 
I don't deserve this. Like, who are you? Who do you think you are out here treating me like I'm just anything? Like, no. Like, literally. Like, I'm just like, what? what is going on? Like, there have been incidents where an ex of mine literally put a conversation that we had on YouTube. And then, like, it's just like a whole lot of mess. And he was like, I'm going to take you to court for um, defamation of character. And I'm like... First of all, you're going against Maryland law because you just recorded a conversation that I didn't give you permission to. You put it on YouTube. So, yeah. And then, while we were together, he was like, oh, you need to be careful of your friends because you know some of them are snakes. But guess what? This guy had his eyes on this girl that's my friend. He had his eyes on her from the jump even before we got together. And when we broke up, guess who was the first person he tried to talk to? That friend. So, really, really, realistically, I mean, I, of course I'm saying, yeah, I don't want to say men are trash, but like, they make it very hard for us girls to really believe, not believe in that statement. Like, there's people out here that really do believe that, and they're not going to give men a chance whatsoever. But it's like, y'all need to do better. 100%. Y'all seriously need to do better. And it's like, it's so, and I have a story similar, but like, that was her ex. This was... I mean, that, at that time, they were exes, but this happened to me while I was dating him. Um, a friend of mine, she and her boyfriend got into a problem where her boyfriend broke up with her at the time, right? So she was very sad, very emotional. I was like, yo, I'm going out with my boyfriend and his friend. Why don't you not, like, come with us? We're about to go to a club, da 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 right? So I invited her and everything, and um, she started sobbing a little bit at the club. She started getting emotional, whatever. And my boyfriend at the time noticed it and he came over and he was like, what's going on? Da, da, da. And he was being nice. Like, I like a boyfriend to be nice to my friends. But throughout the night, the niceness became too much. It came to the point that I, he acted as if I was no longer there. He had his arm around her. He had his arm around her waist. Yes, he was strictly sitting next to her and her only. He never spoke to me. He didn't want to hug me. He didn't want to kiss me. He didn't want to do nothing. I was actually hanging out with his friend the whole time. Yeah, that happened. That happened. And even the, the, the sad thing is about it, even throughout the club, when we're at the club, my friend whispered in my ear like, hey, your boyfriend's making me feel uncomfortable. I don't want to talk to him. But... Can you talk to him for me? And the sad thing is that I've had a total of three friends come up to me saying that my boyfriend made them feel uncomfortable. Wow. Three. My own best friend at the moment came up to me and was like, yo, he's making me feel uncomfortable. Wow. You need to talk to him. Because he was, he said he was being playful. Friendly. But he's poking her in all areas and hugging her, wanting to hug her so tight. And just come, and when he was doing that, it's like, I never existed. Like, oh, you don't have a girlfriend. That's it's time to play with her. Your girlfriend's friends. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I I had an instant. It was an instant. 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 Or instant. Like, <laughs> like that where, like, the guy that I was involved with or whatever, involved with, um, he invited myself and my best friend and my other friend over to his place just to hang out. And while we were there, he was like, you know, he's like, because he's, he's heard me talk about my best friend. Like, so he's like, oh, yeah, like, oh, he is the best friend that I've heard so much about. Like, da 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 And, like, she said, grabbing on the waist. I mean, trying to, I mean, he wasn't, like, trying to hug her, but grabbing on the waist, being a little too flirty or whatever. And we're just, I'm just like, yeah, and we looked at each other like, wait, are we tripping? Are we overreacting? But, like, the next the following day, like, I mean, after that night, I was like, yeah, I don't think we could be rocking like that anymore. So the following day or something, he texted my best friend the following morning, and she didn't reply. And so she was like, so, like, are you going to say anything? And I was just like, I don't know if we're tripping or, like, if it's really, like, what the case is. Like, if he's really out there, like, really trying to talk to you. And so I didn't actually say, no, actually on the cover, we... Somehow he ended up having to drive me like an hour and a half somewhere And so while we were in the car like I was just talking about like hey like yeah, you know 
we can't really do this anymore type of situation but i didn't mention anything about like my best friend's situation so i mean at the same time i was like maybe i was overreacting or maybe like this is really the case because i mean i couldn't really tell because i was a little man but <laughs> so yeah yeah that was it realistically it wasn't really much more else to that but i was just like that like he this really, guy's a joke yo he really so like guys yeah, so when guys go talk to your friends, like, I don't get it, like, do you expect them to just, do you expect my friend to really jump on your, like, um, um, wow, this is <laughs> do you really, do you really, really expect my friend to just talk to you that easy, because, oh yeah, like, no, are you kidding, even if you're not that close, like, that's just so wrong. Like, bye. Don't do that. You're dumb. You're dumb. Don't do that. So, I don't like that. Before the video ended, well, I was definitely emphasizing on self-love. Like, ladies. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Just know that when you're going into a relationship, you have to have yourself. I'm not saying have yourself established, but definitely be able to, like, um, know that yo i'm confident in who i am I'm confident and i have respect for myself you need to have that foundation of self-love or else you're gonna be lost like you're not gonna know what's going on like i swear it's like the person can either build you up and break you right back down or they could take away the little that you have and make you feel like you're nothing so definitely have that foundation of self-love and if you want more videos on self-love definitely let us know well let her know down below because it's in my channel let her know and she'll bring me back feel me okay cool um yes that's what i wanted to talk about piggybacking on what she just said <laughs> so so my ex contacted me back in july crying first of all he called me and said hello i said i was like yeah because I, I signed up for a whole bunch of nanny positions <laughs> i signed up for a whole bunch of nanny positions you better open your eyeballs is it by force it's by force <laughs> <laughs> you saying you really punishing your friend. You better open your eyeballs. I know you're not praying the video, but open your eyeballs. Okay, open it for this last video. I'm last. Yeah. So basically, he contacts me. Okay, let me just make the story faster. Yeah. So he hit me up, thinking that we we're gonna get back together. Didn't happen. And he behind my back, he messaged my best friend. Yes, on Instagram. Instagram. Talk about hey, um, don't tell Lila this. <laughs> yes. Hola, hola, hola. Okay, continue. Yes. Um, he was like, hey, don't tell Lila this, but can I talk to you? As in, talking like ah. My best friend didn't even message. She didn't even respond. She literally opened it, left him on read, and then he still tried to contact me like, hello, I know you saw my message. She just blocked him. Yeah. Yo! This is still around the time when him, him still trying to get back with me. Like, are you serious right now? I'm honestly, I'm so sick and tired of guys trying to do stuff. Like, to wrap this whole thing up, ladies, 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 hear me out. Self love is very important. Um, you have to love yourself before you can truly get into a relationship because you, it's what, like, you can't give someone your all if you can't even give yourself your all. What's the point of that? You're literally left. You're leaving yourself empty. What's the point in all of that? Secondly, be okay with being lonely. It's fine to be lonely. It's okay. Take time for yourself. Get your nails done. I when I have money, I got my nails done plenty of times. When I have money, I get my crochet done plenty of times. Now I'm, I'm rocking around with my crochet. What do you do when you don't have money? On the real though, like even if you don't have money, just do self care. Like go know. for a walk. Yeah, Need definitely. A walk. Do things that make you feel good about yes. yourself, and to even make you a better person, or like making you like the best version of yourself. Like finding a new hobby, starting a business, reading. I more. started YouTube. Yeah, like reading more, writing, like a blog. Like there's so yes, many things out so there right many. now. Where you could express yourself, whether it's painting, drawing, get the prints out, start a website. Like, yes. I'm telling you, most of these things, you don't even have to have money. But do something that you'd be like, yo, I'm not doing this for you. I'm not trying to come up. I'm not trying to glow up to show you, oh, I'm better without you. No, you're trying to glow up 
mentally, physically, financially, so you could be the best version of yourself only for you and no one else. Because like we in this culture, like oh, I'm about to grow up, so I could be like, no, 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 no. Like you definitely, you're not going up for people out there. Cause like I said, like you're at the end of the day, you're gonna be dealing with you, with your own conscience. You're gonna be going to bed by yourself if you don't got a man. Hello, you're gonna be going in and back and forth. You're gonna be like she said, you have to be comfortable being alone. So like you don't settle for everything and anything. Cause and just keep grabbing for things just because yeah. it, it seems convenient. Don't go by conveniency. Yeah. Go by what is the, not not what's there, but what is perfect for you. What mm -hmm. will make you happy? Because yeah. when that person's gone and you're sitting there you're lost that's not that's not what you're supposed to feel you're not supposed to feel lost you're still you're supposed to feel like yourself yeah and yes it's gonna hurt but you're not supposed to be like what the heck what do i do now yeah. what, who who is who who am i because i was stuck with that you don't want that yeah. you want to come back stronger and learn from that so guys really seriously take self-love um seriously and even also to this takes away a little bit far from the conversation but also adds if you're even struggling with like trying to find self-love or something it's nothing wrong with getting counseling as well seek that as well talk to a counselor talk to whoever talk to your friends they are there for you we're not here to make fun of you we're not here to joke with you we're here to stand by you so take that out of consideration do you have anything else to say and I think, like, one thing is people feel like, oh, I don't want to reach out to people because I feel like I might bother them or I might, like, um, I'm getting them out of their way, wasting their time. But, like, people out here that really do care. Um, so definitely reach out to people. Like, don't feel like you're being a liability because, like, you don't want to go through life alone. And also, don't let, like she said, don't let loneliness force you into a relationship because you're going to find out that you're going to be emptier than you even were before because it's like you're not going to that relationship with anything but an empty vessel. So you definitely want to build up yourself on self-love and self-care. And, like, dude, you're, like, you're a queen. Like, you're, you're worth so much. So don't ever so settle. Don't let that attention... Know your worth and add taxes. Yeah. Tax that. Say it again for the one Tax it. Know your, your worth, worth and, and add taxes. taxes. Oh, go. Go, go, okay. go. Know your worth and add taxes. Period. Period. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like below. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, stay tuned. Watch all the rest of my video. Thank you for having Thank me you on for the having show. You. you know, it was little whatever. But if you guys want to see me come back, let her know. <laughs> Peace. We out. Bam. Lila will use her hand like this. Bye, guys. How you ain't say you was moving forward? Honesty hurts when you're getting older. I gotta say, I miss the way you need me. Yeah. Why you ain't say you was getting bored? Why you ain't say I was falling short? How you leave me out so far away? How could it be?